came out of going around the country on a book tour for Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. And uh, never forget. Um, and uh, <laughs> they're not going to like that. Um, and uh, it was 2009, and it was the bicentennial of Abraham Lincoln's birth. And so no matter where I was in the country, you would have two displays right in the front of every bookstore in the entire country. You would have an Abraham Lincoln biography display, and then you would have a Twilight display. <laughs> and so rather cynically, I looked at this and I said, okay, well, if you could combine those two things, man, you'd really be onto something. And, uh, and uh, so that was the cynical sort of beginning of the process. But what I did was I went and I researched the real life of, of Abe. And uh, I think like these guys will be able to tell you too, the more you read about the real Lincoln, the more you realize that his real life story is a superhero origin story. And that's what got me really excited about it, all the darkness he had to overcome, the death, um, what he had to do to pull himself up by his bootstraps and not only become the chief executive of the country, but save the country. So in that way, um, he is really the first and only American superhero that I can think of.